Hey, how's it going, YouTube fam? This is Tack with Your American Passion. I'm actually going to be doing another video here. Uh, before I do this video, let me show you exactly what I ended up with my uh, garage storage cabinets. I ended up getting all of them done, and uh, they were actually pretty easy except for the largest one, the 48 by 72. That was the one that kind of worked me a little bit because it takes two, uh, four hands to do that one. So let me show you what I have. This is the 48 by 72. It's a pretty big one, but I was able to get it accomplished. It comes with four shelves. I'm gonna put those in once I actually get it moved. So that way everything will be good to go. But like I said, it's a pretty big setup as well as I have a total of eight wall units and four of the actual floor units with the 30 by 72 which is this one right here it's gonna be a pretty nice size uh, workshop uh, wall workshop but I, I enjoy the fact that I was able to receive a really good deal uh, because I opened up a Harbor Freight account. <laughs> um, but of course, once you pay for it, you can turn it back around and pay it off, which is what I've done. And the way I have it is, this is where my, I got a 60, I mean a 57 inch tool chest. It's gonna start here and it will end right here and I'm gonna butt that to my stainless steel tabletops that go with the, the Yukon set. And that starts right here and it goes to right here. And then of course, this is where my 48 inch by 72 is gonna go. It's gonna go and stop right against that actual uh, welder plug and the actual this is the wire for the ceiling fan and then of course once I get on the other side I'm gonna make me I'm gonna make a let me do it this way I will make a uh, wooden disc right here and then my next Stainless steel countertops or tabletops. We're going to start here and it's going to end roughly about here. And then the 30 by the 30 by 72 will be in this section here. So I didn't want to use this full video to talk about that, but I was trying to give you a, a finishing factor of what it's going to be. And of course, I'm going to have a review. Uh, as well as a um, a look of how it turned out. I have a lot of boxes. It was packed really well. So just to kind of give you an idea of all the stuff that I have. I still have the tops that I got to do. So... Um, my next focus is that puppy right there, which is an actual central machinery, 16 speed, heavy duty floor drill press. And that number, 61483. It's not the biggest and it's definitely not the smallest. So I'm gonna start on that, and once I get this done, my next video will be the bandsaw. So stay tuned. Let me get set up and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had, cup, I had to open up the box. Excuse my dress apparel. I was actually relaxing. So you have three arms, of course the trusty Dusty. Um, instructions 
you have your chuck as well as your truck chuck bit. This is your table. As well as your fan. Let me move some of this up the right now. and open up some of the fire from here. We have the sleeve. You have the pole. The sleeve for the pole that goes down to the actual floor where the actual stand is. adjuster, another sleeve for it, some accessories, bolts, uh, hex head, tool. This is the pole that she's going to slide down on. use to grind to crank it and then I'm gonna have to come back because the motor is there and then of course you have the motor which is really not that heavy but it's heavy enough Then of course you got an empty box. Let me make sure because sometimes I'm afraid to put some all by all by all add all things. Gotta add this to my pile of junk. All right, that's the motor. The adjuster, the pole, the chuck, other adjuster, the, the handle for the adjuster, the sleeve, all of the actual assorted hardware, as well as the hex head key. These are the actual uh, tools that you crank down to actually bring the press down that's the table for the press that sits underneath there that way you can actually get the right gauge this is also one that go with this and it gets cranked down from there and this is your stand so I'm going to build this one pretty quick and it's going to actually be um, you know, here and there. So I'm going to actually build it, then I'm going to come back and talk to you a little bit about it, and we can go from there. Stand by. Okay, I'm back. I'm actually trying to get this thing going. I took all the plastic off, except for on this pole, because it's really greasy. Really, really greasy. All right, first thing I did was I actually took the pole, slid it in to the actual... Pole that's got the actual sleeve that's going to actually bolt here. Once again, guys, this thing and girls, this thing is really greasy. So 
Anyway, make a long story short, that bolts to here. The bolts for that is here. They're all threaded bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, this part here, and I'll be back. Now, what I just did was the handle, of course, it's a small thing, but the handle was screwed on. It had a flat side on the sleeve. And once you put that, that screw up there, it would allow this gear to be able to turn. I don't know if you can see it. That gear turns on that shaft there. That shaft is gonna go here. which gives it the range of motion for the table. Stand by. All right, so I got it laid down on the, on the extra ground. I placed down on the ground. I have that sleeve on the actual collar there on that pole. It tightens here. Because that pole comes greased, you're gonna to have to tighten it a little bit more. And this part is for that one. Okay. This is where the time consumption comes in. I have the actual rod here. The problem is getting the rod to stay And once I do that, then the plate goes on. And then of course, the actual levers would go on and it will go on the actual motor. So stand by. Okay, next thing is I have the rod, the adjustable rod down in the bottom. You wedge it down in the bottom and then there's an actual ring here that you wedge down with the Allen head. That's the small Allen head. Then of course you have the big Allen head at the bottom. Stand by. All right. Once again, excuse the actual garage because I'm building things and sending videos. Sixteen speed floor drill press, shop drill press presses, if I may say. Part number six one four eight three. Six one four eight three. Century machinery. It's actually pretty heavy. I haven't had a chance to turn it on yet. So I will give you the review on it in a couple months. You have the actual chuck key, your wedge key, and of course the actual tools that you use to put it together. For the actual screws at the bottom, they're 17 millimeters. Those are the only screws that you're gonna to need to actually run it. So for the most part, you're good to go on that. This is tacked with Euro American Passion. Working the drill press installation. Part number 61483. Please subscribe if you like. If you don't like, subscribe. Uh, uh, leave a comment if you like. If you don't like, um, also subscribe, give me a comment. I want you to see how hot it really is. <laughs> I'm doing these videos to try to help people out who want to purchase Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight products. Uh, I'm not the best 
technical guy, but I do what I can to try to make sure these videos get out so the average person can actually be able to see um, what it takes and what's involved. Once again, this is Tech with Your American Passion. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and let's move forward. Once again, God bless you. Continue to fight COVID. Peace.